Okay, I'm back. And I see what happened. The film went over uh, 20 minutes. It went three or four minutes over. So, uh, I'm going to make a little adjustment here. Uh, I'll redo the, the last three minutes, just summarize it quickly. Um, that way, the three minutes or four minutes that went over will be ca captured here. And uh, then we'll proceed. Okay. This is the full problem. Okay? Maybe we were at the sixth choice when the film got cut off at the 20 minutes. All right? We'll see when we get all this loaded up on, uh, on YouTube. So, at six, right? 20 euros over four with a ratio of five to one, margin utility over price is better than the apple. We carry the 3.75 over here. Recalculate margin utility over price. It goes down to 10. All these margin utility numbers go back to the very first page when we worked out margin utility. So you can go back and forth and check those figures. 10 over 4 is 2.5. So in the seventh choice, apples is better. Choosing apples is better. I did an income check. I found $44 spent. Two apples from before, two more, four apples, 40 bucks. I'm sorry, four apples at eight bucks, 32 bucks. Three, three bananas, three times four is 12. That gave me $44 spent. But with $56 of income, $12 is left. Bringing us to a last choice, a final choice. 20 euros over 8, 10 euros over 4, and both. Marge utilities over price, both of them are 2.5. How do you handle something like that? $12 left, equal, equal, equal. You have to remember, as we've practiced in class, at the end, two things happen. All the money gets spent. There's $12 to spend. And the margin utility over price for both products become equal. And they are equal. So we're done. Choose this, choose that as a way to complete the problem, right? Knowing that that's the way these things work out at the end. They got to be equal at the end. And we can recalculate the, uh, the entire sequence of things that we, that we, you know, from start to finish. Two apples from before, one, two, three more, that's five apples. Two apples from, I'm sorry, two bananas from before. One banana, two banana, three banana, four, four bananas, 16 bucks, because four times four is 16. 16 bucks plus 40 bucks, 56 bucks. We're done. Well, we've done the first stage of the problem. Let's go to the next thing. In the next, in the next stage of this problem, of the whole sequence, we, 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 we do what? We change the price. We change the price of one of the goods. Now we had uh, price of apples eight. We have price of bananas. Price of bananas had been four. We're going to make this eight. So they have the same price. Right? And just work through it, see what happens. All right? Uh, let's see what happens. First choice. Apple. 70 euros over 8. Or banana. 40 euros over, over 8 now. This ratio for bananas, 5 to 1. This ratio here, we had it before, right? 8.75, I recall. Yeah, that seems right. So, let's see. Which is better? 5 to 1 or that? Apple. Okay? Second choice. Since we've done this routine uh, once, hopefully it goes a little quicker. This goes down to 50, as I recall, over 8. I'll just write the 8. Let's recalculate the euros per dollar. 
8 into 48 goes 6 times. 6 times and a quarter left over. This stays 5 to 1. 40 euros are over 8 bucks. Remember, the price of bananas has changed. There's the banana. It's not looking very bananish. Anyway, uh, still 5 to 1. Which is better, 6.25 or 5 to 1? Seven, ah, 6.25. Now remember, last time we went through, when the prices were different, we bought an apple, then we bought a banana. Or maybe the other way around. Uh, yes, in fact, it was the other way around. But, given all that, things change because this has gotten a little more expensive. It's no longer $4, it's $8. All right, so let's try to work all this out nice and smoothly as possible. Nice and smoothly as possible. Uh, let's see. I think this went down to 40 euros. Yep, that's what I recall. Uh, $8. Five to one. Ah, the banana's five to one, isn't it? Yes. Yes, the banana's five to one. All right. One of those ties. Every once in a while you have a tie. But you got to realize how much money you have to know whether you're done or not. We have plenty of money left. We've only spent 16. We have $40 left. But you know enough. You buy one, then the other. I recall the other problem when we had a tie in choice number four, I believe, four or five, I believe. We chose the apple. Let's, let's do it differently. Let's choose the banana, and what's going to happen? We're going to choose the opposite. This stays 5 to 1, 40 euros over 8. This one becomes 30 euros over 8 bucks, 4.25. Yes, that's right. All right, which is better, 5 to 1 or... Uh, 30 over 8, 4.25. Oh, this is better. Okay, so you like this one better. That's that's what the utility information is. These utility numbers are higher than the other one. And now they're even prices, so things are going to lean a little more to what your favorite is. If the prices are exactly the same, you move to the more preferred item. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Alrighty, let's just work it through. I think we're going to have, uh, how many choices? How many choices are you going to have that? I think it's eight times seven is is eight times seven is uh, fifty six. Yeah, that's what happened. that's how it works. Fifth, sixth, seventh. I think all three of them get there. They're, they're in there. Apple, apple, apple. Four, four, four. Banana, banana, banana. banana. Right. All right, let's look at these details. Uh, this 7, 5, and 1, we just had to finish it. 70, 50, 40, I'm going to double check. 70, 50, 40, and it's 30. 30 utils over 8. Wait a second. This was 30 utils over 8. Yes, it was. We got another tie. Very interesting. Uh, it was 4.25 we calculated, 14.5 here. When that ratio is reduced, we have a tie. It's kind of like choice number three. Do we have a lot? Of, how much money? We're not going to. We're not going to end the seventh choice. We have plenty of money left. Eight, 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 eight. Thirty-two dollars. We got that. So we're going to pick one and then the other. We might pick banana. Then the sixth choice would be apple. You might pick apple. Let's pick apple here. The next choice will be banana. Watch. This goes down to 20 euros. 20 euros over 8. That's what? 2.5. But this stays at 4.25. That's better. Agreed? Yeah, that's pretty good. So every once in a while. It's nice to do an income check. I had a sense of how this would work. We had a tie at the fifth. We bought one and then the other. So far, one, two, three, four, one and two. But they're all eight dollars. Six choices. Forty-eight dollars spent. Forty-eight dollars spent. 
eight left. True or false, we're on our last choice. Yes, we're on our last choice. What should happen? They should be tied. This, this was 20 utils over. I'm, I'm hoping, like all, I'm hoping to the heavens that these are tied. 20 over 8. We did not have an apple in the sixth choice. 2.5 ratio. 2.5. This banana. Oh, the first, second, the third. Is it, I'm going to double check. Now the third. Yes, it is. 20 utils over what? Eight. It's a tie. Eight dollars left. How do you handle that? Look, there are three possible ways. I'll list them. Three possible answers you could give for this sequence. Remember, this is the second sequence after we're going to derive the demand curve. Possible answers for this. Quantity apples, quantity banana, bananas. You're allowed to choose an apple in the last one. It would be one, two, three, four, five apples. But if it were five apples, then it would be two bananas. You could do this. Quantity of apples. One banana, two banana, three banana, four. Here we go again. No, no, that's apples. That's apples. That's apples. That's apples. Sorry. One, two, three, four apples. Then one, two, three. Let's let's choose this one just for a second. This is the one we're going with. Three bananas. That's a possible choice. But it's no better than five, two. They would have the same utility at the end. The total utility, all told, that would be the same at the end. And this, or you can be fancy, Dan. Really cute. 4.5, 3.5, split the difference. Professor, you can't buy half an apple, half a banana. You can buy half a pound, half a quarter pound, three pounds, or whatever. You, you, sometimes you can divvy things up. If it's cars, you couldn't. If it's pounds of apples, you could. Um, these are three acceptable answers as far as I'm concerned. If you do this at the end for your test, I'm expecting you to write that. You don't have to list all three. That's it. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happened. Um, we had, first of all, way back when, $56 income, price of apples $8, price of bananas $4. But then, in this last sequence, what did we do? We changed the price of bananas to 8. That gives us the means to draw a demand curve for bananas. A demand curve for bananas. How would we do that? With bananas. We want the price of bananas. It was four, it was eight. Agreed? Quantity of bananas. That's a B. Quantity of bananas. Price bananas, quantity of bananas, we're going to draw a demand curve for bananas. When the price was four, when it was cheaper, I remember counting one banana, two banana, three banana, four. We bought five apples, four bananas. Cheap price for bingo, a point. Then what? We raised the price of bananas to eight. And we had to make an adjustment. We had to make an adjustment in order to maximize our utility. We went through it. Three. Right? Because uh, prior page, prior page, Right? One, two, three. And I just realized an error. That's partly why I changed it. This should be 2.5, shouldn't it? Yes, those of you who noticed, 2.5. That split the difference between two and three. Good that you caught that. Just seeing if you were awake. Anyway, that's corrected, right? Three is what we chose. 
right? So I would expect you and your test to say, yeah, at $8, the higher price, we did buy less. Price went up, quantity demand went down. There's your point. Bingo, there's your demand curve. Voila, right? Had you chose 5-2 in regard to the apples and bananas in that second series, I would expect you to write a 2 here. If you want to be fancy, Dan, you could have put 2.5. But whatever you do in the test, in the second sequence, starts to determine how this whole detail work will come out. Right? That's a whole problem. Apples and bananas, all the nations like bananas. Thank you.